Welcome guys to day three of the 31 days of Halloween. In this tutorial I'm going to be doing an alien type creature. Um, going with more of a H.R. Geiger stylish uh, look. Now what you see me doing here is something I do on more intricate designs. I'm actually laying out the design in white first. Um, drawing out all the details, how I want everything to be, where I want them to be, before I add more details to it. So just taking a little bit of Paradise White on my brush, I'm going ahead and laying out all the design and where exactly it's going to be. Now, I had a problem with my battery and my camera cut out, so it skipped ahead, but as you can see, I added a medium, um, a light gray, and some yellow to the design. I'm now going in with black and filling in the eye sockets and right down there where the jaw is, uh, those will be filled in black. Um, yeah, I've been having problems with my uh, camera batteries, so I had some extra ones, but I think they're going bad on me. And they're cheap, so I'll just have to purchase more from Amazon or wherever. But as you can see, all the parts that I had drawn in, uh, in the beginning, I made a light gray color. And then I went and I wanted to pop some other color in there, so I put in some yellow. And it's a chameleon yellow. So now I'm going in with a dark gray color. And I'm putting in the shadows and some other details in with that dark gray. Uh, it helps to make it easier if you layer on the colors uh, using the medium color first and then using your highlights and shadows last. Um, how else do I explain it? So as you can see I'm doing kind of like tubing on the top. So I'm going in and doing all the dark parts. I will go back with black later on and really define these out. But for the majority of it, you can go in and you just put in the dark gray to where you want certain design elements to be. And that way you can go back later and you highlight and you shadow and everything else. I sped it up so that you can see the whole process. And that way you can see everywhere that I put the dark gray color. If you notice, I'm also adding design elements to the face using this dark gray. It just helps it pop out a little bit more. So not everything can be uh, is going to be drawn out with the white in the beginning. Some of the elements will just pop in there as I see fit. Now I'm going in with a little bit of orange into that yellow and I'm blending it in and this is kind of what I did with the skull in the bonus video on day one and it just allows me to give it dimension by blending it into the yellow and I did this with all the yellow there going around her chin. Now I'm going in with some red and I'm going on top of that orange and it just gives it more dimension. Um, like with the blue, I could have, with the blue skull, um, I could have gone in with black and kind of deepened it or gone in with a really darker color and deepened it. You could even go in with purple. Uh, the whole idea behind this was I wanted to give it a more ethereal appearance. And you can use any color you wish in there. It doesn't have to be the colors that you see here. Dang, my hand's still in the way. <laughs>
So if you notice, I'm going in with some black right now and I'm outlining all the little bits and I was doing that up at the top where my hand was blocking it. Speed it up a little bit and you can see that I'm just defining everything and covering up those white lines that were left over from the design process. But I'm going in and I'm adding in details and I'm shadowing out places and making things pop a little bit. There also is some brown in there and I don't know why I didn't uh, talk about it, but you can't really see it that well. But I added in just some brown to add in some different things. Now here I am with the white doing the specular highlighting and if you notice I'm not doing a long line across the top of those tubing and down along the cheeks. I want to give it the appearance that there's segmentation. So I put the white just in those little segments, flicking them down towards the mouth, and it just makes it pop. And that's the finished look. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was a fun tutorial for you. I know I talked a lot. <laughs> so comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'm rambling on now. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.